Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Install a Trade. In this video, we will learn how to install Anti Gravity on Windows 11. Without any delay, let's get started. First, open your web browser and on Google, type Google Anti Gravity and press enter. You will see the official website antigravity.google. Click on it. Since we are on Windows, this site automatically detects our OS. Click on download for Windows. Now scroll down and you will also see options for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. I will choose Windows X64 and click the download button. The download has started. Let's wait. Once download, you will have the antigravity.exe file. Click on it to begin the installation. Minimize the browser. Accept the agreement and click next. Choose the destination location. Antigravity will be installed in the following path. And it only takes around 701 MB. Keep everything as default and click next. Click next. Select the create a desktop icon and click next. Now click install. Anti gravity is now being installed. Once complete, you will see the desktop icon is also created. Click finish since launch anti gravity is selected, it will open automatically. You will see the welcome to anti gravity screen. Now, let's start the initial setup of anti gravity. Anti gravity has opened. Click next. Choose the setup flow. Start fresh, import from VS Code, import from cursor i will choose start fresh and click next choose your theme i will select dark theme and click next choose how you want to use anti gravity agent i will keep the default agent assisted development and click next configure your editor this will install the required language extension and the anti-gravity CLI tool. Set as default and click next. Now sign in with Google. Click sign in and choose any Gmail account. Now quickly sign in with Google. Click sign in. Choose your Gmail account. Once it shows successfully authenticated, click open anti-gravity. You will now see the terms of use keep the default option yes i agree and click next anti gravity has launched for the first time the interface looks very similar to vs code or cursor it's a full id for agentic ai development you can ask anything using the ai chat switch between models like Gemini 3 Pro, Gemini 3 Pro Low, Cloud Sornet, and more. You can also open a folder directly, manage agent, and clone a repository easily. And that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, share, and if you face any issue, just comment below. I will try to help. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.